We've heard a lot about breakthroughs in the understanding of the biology of aging, but what can we realistically expect to see coming into the clinic with your local doctor or on the shelves at the drugstore, say in the next 10 years? A lot of the science is being implemented today and in the drugstore today are dietary supplements, you know, things like vitamins, things that can improve the quality of life for you and me. But most of these dietary supplements just fine-tune the biology of aging. They don't reset the clock of aging itself in the cells in our body. They don't fundamentally change the biology of aging itself. In the next 10 years, there may begin to be the implementation of some basic science that was discovered in the mid-1990s by some of the scientists working with me and others in the biology of aging. And this is based on a, what we call regenerative medicine. Very simply put, we can keep an old car on the road by continually replacing old worn-out parts. So you might see a Model T running down the road today. Not exactly the same car that existed many decades earlier. You know, the, the tires have been replaced. Maybe cracked the windshield, needed a new windshield. In the same way, in the mid-1990s, cells were discovered at the root of the tree of human life itself that can branch out to make all the cells of the human body. We call these stem cells. These cells were very different than any cell ever previously isolated, and they can make all the cells of the human body. They're also extremely young. In fact, they're immortal. So sort of like a new part that you would buy in a parts supply store for a car. Those cells are being applied even today in the clinic, in clinical trials, for age-related diseases. One of these is for age-related macular degeneration, a change that can cause blindness in aging people. This has the potential to be applied in human medicine within the next 10 years.